next here at Saratoga. Right now, I'm still on recording, just taking it one day at a time. I feel well, I'm doing fine. Uh, every day, I um, have to have sort of different uh, obstacle to overcome, just mentally uh, and emotionally, I guess is the word, but um, Otherwise, I mean, I'm just happy right now to be here at the track and especially being my first trip this year. Love at first sight, so to speak. It was just like I knew right then and there that that's what I wanted to, to do when I grew up. As the time went by, my passion really became an, an obsession and uh, it really didn't subside at all and I just knew this what I wanted to do. and. Uh, being given the opportunity to do well as I did, I was just like beyond what I could have dreamed of at the time. This is not something that I chose to, oh, I'm not gonna cry. I, mean, I guess anybody really will understand that the doctors feel like it's for my best interest given the type of injury that I sustained. All horses have a a special place in my heart, and of course, I mean, there's a better dog now who I won my first British Cup with and I had a lot of success with. Dio Ponte was a great horse. Of course, there's also the horses that probably didn't get as much recognition, but to me, they really caught my eye, like Fabulous Strike. I mean, to me, he was an amazing animal, and I really was amazed over and over about his abilities and, and how good of a horse he really was. Here's the wire! Fabulous strike wins! Well, my wife and I have been spending a lot of time with our two boys, which is nice. And I have also been helping around their house, which that part is not too exciting. I always, as most jockeys, been supportive of the PDJF and thought that I understood the importance of it. Now I'm more aware of how um, the PDGF really help guys and girls who really need them. And uh, I feel like really the, that we all should do a little more to contribute to their cause. <laughs>